you need to learn how to determine when you should stay in a fight or when you should walk away. Every battle is not yours, but some of them are because you initiate them. You get to choose. So if I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose for peace. And you should want that in your life too. You have control of your environment so you can determine whether it's going to be stressful, full of conflict and, and negative talk, or if it's going to be the type of environment that's going to help you move things forward. Your level of engagement in most arguments or disagreements or even conflicts, or shall I say beefs, <laughs> can be decided by this one concept that I'm going to share with you, okay? You can use this one concept to decide if a matter in just a short period of time, in just a matter of moments, if you should assert yourself or if you should set somebody straight or if you should just walk away. Most times when people have conflict, the conflict is about something that means little or nothing to the grand scheme of life. Some disagreements go on and on and they go on so long that people forget why they even are arguing. Before the end of this episode, I'll share with you this one idea that will keep you from wasting your emotions and energy on disagreements and petty arguments and the need to want to check somebody every day. So first thing first, let's examine your self-control. And examining your self-control starts with self-awareness. How you show up in situations and how you control yourself determines how people receive you. So if you always showing up somewhere angry, people are prepared for your angry person. I mean, they have on a wall, they have on there, protect, they know what they're going to say if you come at them wrong because you have set up this precedent. If you come into situations and you're always negative, some people are not even going to want to be bothered with you because negative self-talk or negative talk period doesn't help anything. And it brings the room down and it zaps energy from the person you're talking to and it just perpetuates negativity and bad outcomes. Hello, Sophisticate. I want to extend a heartfelt invitation to an experience that has the power to transform your life in ways you might not even imagine. It doesn't matter if you're a busy professional, a dedicated parent, or someone who's navigating life's ups and downs. This opportunity is for you. Introducing the Emotional Reset Challenge, an immersive journey that will empower you with emotional intelligence and sophisticated empowerment, equipping you to manage your emotions so that you can curate the life that you truly desire. Join us in the Emotional Reset Challenge and let's embark on this transformative journey together. Secure your spot now and I'll see you there. And another way that you can show up that actually helps to foster poor communication and cause conflict is if you're passive. You better learn to stick up for yourself. No one can read your mind. So being passive doesn't get you what you want. It doesn't even add value to relationships because the people in relationships are not getting the authentic you, the real you, the whole you. So if you're a passive, then you know what? You may as not even, well as not even show up because you're not bringing anything. 